stay protected because it's very unsafe out there. No, I never, I never, I have never seen that like in real life. I only see it on TV. No, not really a lot. Rare, really. I see it not often, like very rarely. Sometimes, very rare do I see it. It's a, a very, very huge amount. Often? Kind of often. A lot often. Like 90%. They have some girls that I know that's in my school that talk to boys like six, seven years older than them. Four years, three, four years. Freshman, senior, or high schooler with beginning college person. A 16-year-old could be dating a, a boy from 18 to like 25 or something. 13 and 18. 12 and 19, 10 and 13, that's kind of a big number. Because you know, it's, you're still a younger child, you know, with a teenager. <laughs> Most girls go with older guys like me. Uh, they have to be at least two or three years older. I say two because my boyfriend is two years older, but it used to have to be three. Is boys my age and younger too immature? I guess because girls feel as though they go to older guys for maturity and for things that they think that is better. Some people they're thinking like, oh, he's older. They're thinking of what he can do for them. But as in the male's point of view, it probably is like, oh, she's young, she's hot, and has a body, and she could keep. It could like kind of make them come back to youth a little. So that's why they probably do it. But girls, I don't know. Some maybe love, but some people are attracted to older people because it's like they know what they're doing and like they just they have like a sureness of themselves and like probably confidence and this is like they're more experienced than some things. Some of them, you know, are healthy for some people because some people are used of it. That you know and. It's like to them is is better because you maybe because they're used to it and not used to going talking to people their age, and some some of them the older guys like the real older ones and the younger ones they think that they can take control of the younger girls and to me that's not good because that means the older guy has control of you and he can get you to do anything that you want them to. I guess it depends on the person because like when it's like a, that big of an age gap, it's like they manipulative like to the, to the younger person. It's like they can control them. Well, say like I'm like I'm my age and I'm dating somebody like over the age of what I'm supposed to be dating. Mm -hmm. And like he decides he wants to break up with me and I'm like, no, you're not gonna break up with me because if you do, I'm gonna tell the police. And, he, mm -hmm. and he's like, I was in this could like ruin his life or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that could be like, that's a threat and you could be like, I'm gonna press charges on you and all that kind of stuff. And they could go to jail for like rape and all this kind of stuff. So I think that's bad. Right. Mm -hmm. And the girl, she, I think she lived in the East. She was kidnapped supposedly. Mm -hmm. But I think she went to a garbage can and she ran off with her 18 year old boyfriend and she was like 12. Wow. She went to a garbage can. She oh. went to a garbage can. Remember they, oh. the lady? Oh, like, she, she, out trash yeah, she went to take out trash and she never came back. And her mom was all on the news crying or whatever. And it turns out she ran off with her 18 year old boyfriend and she was only 12. I know people who've been in relationships where they boyfriend like hit them and stuff, smack them, choke them. Um, and they think, the females think it's funny, but to me, like, it's not funny. Hitting, basically hitting and screaming and all kind of things like that. Males talk about females and the different things they they have done when they had sex. Let their, they let their friends know, call them different names like freak, the, a bee. No matter if it's like plain or whatever, you know, it could end up serious. Go by the little tell them. 
that way you girl, girl you need to get out of this and stuff like that girl like somebody to be real with them if they've been in that all their life they're not gonna know about it they're not gonna know what to do in that situation they're not gonna know they that's gonna be all they know control them. if somebody controlling them and they use somebody controlling them then it's gonna be every man they all boy i mean man or girl they, that somebody get they gonna always have that person to control him and they're not gonna know what to do. My ex boyfriend, he when we first met and we well when we when we first started going together, he couldn't stand me talking to any type of boy. It could've been my it could have been my friend. It could have been a boy that I call my best friend. Like he never wanted me to talk to boys and then it got worse because I go to him to about to talk to him about situations that goes on with my friends and he'll he'll say like Say for instance, um, like he'll say, "Well, you don't need to talk to her. You need to stop talking to her." And then he'll talk about my friend, and you know, sometimes you get that feedback on like, "Oh, should I should I be friends with her?" Or, you know, and that that's that's bad. It'll only take a minute. Thank <laughs> you.